Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick couple minute video on the cabinet build that I'm doing. So I purchased this antique china cabinet um, from the antique mall here in town and it's in wonderful shape. And I decided I wanted to do uh, a guitar cabinet slash humidor. This is climate controlled guitar cabinet. Um, and I looked at various manufacturers and models online and like the base price is like $10,000, $12,000 and, and up. And I thought I could do that at a fraction of the price. Granted, it won't be quite as nice, but it will be pretty close and I'll be happy with it. So I started with this build, um, buying this and uh, quite the ordeal to get it home. Um, got it home. Uh, first thing I did was took out the glass, tempered glass shelving um, and all the shelf uh, stays. And then I, the cabinet hardware on here was typical of the period. It was not my style at all and had faux locks on it and I did that had to go so part of like the five percent that I have left to work on is to um, fix the finish where those were obviously you can see that along the bottom there and um, also by behind, behind the handle so th that will get all redone to match uh, the rest of the cabinet um, I put the brass uh, the um, brass sorry the oil rubbed bronze poles on that I uh, picked up just drilled new holes for them used one pre-existing hole um, and so this is, I think I've gone over some of this in the story. This is the railing system I built, which is a uh, steel bar stock countersunk into um, a channel I've made in the poplar, uh, lightly stained. I also made these floating rails with the neodymium magnets I countersunk into the bottom of each. This way it can be fully adjustable, but it gets held in place on those rails. Um, I did a similar thing, which I'm happy with but not quite happy not quite satisfied satisfied with this whole thing but um, these did not come out symmetrical like I wanted that's my fault there was a there was a saw issue that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna blame the saw but it was my fault um, and then I used a template that was wrong um, that I created and because of the way I cut it the first one yeah anyway long story short I'm gonna redo these but basically these um, have a similar thing they rot they have countersunk neodymium magnets they ride in a channel with steel in the back and so they're fully adjustable um, they don't have any downward pressure on them they're just for neck rests the necks will lean into them um, and so this is great it accommodates different widths electric and acoustic guitars um, this is going to be my temperature and obviously humidity gauge uh, i installed a lighting system in here that goes the whole way around and there you have it i will turn the light on um, and of course it's a dim it's a dimmer and if you could change from warm white to bright white to soft white cool white and then obviously all the colors in between uh so yeah that's the cabinet build so far and i'll get it filled with guitars and we'll see how it looks and here we are with it loaded up got seven guitars in there let's take a look let's open this up a little bit There it is. Exactly what I had envisioned. Uh, again, I think I mentioned this in my original post. There are a lot of companies that that make these. Well, not a lot. There's a handful of companies, and I like the design elements of some of them. Um, and so I, I kind of did a syncretic blending, a reverse engineering of what I thought I could do, and this is what I came up with. And I'm pretty ha happy with it. Uh, Learned a lot and I'm going to redo some things, but overall it looks pretty, looks pretty good. Let's close this up. Let's stick the uh, light on and I'll do one at night as well, but there we go.